Okay, now we're going to show an example of how the auto unload detection works. It's all based off of weight. There's no PTO sensor. Um, as you approach the truck, you do everything you normally would. Turn on the PTO, slowly open up the gate. Um, as the weight starts to unload, it'll automatically detect it and then accurately determine the entire amount that you unloaded. We have currently the Northfield set up, so we're going to keep Northfield selected by hitting that. Uh, we're into the blue truck and we're dumping into the blue bin and Spencer is driving the grain cart. So as Spencer turns on the PTO and opens up the gate, we can see weight starting to slowly pull off. And we are now unloading. As we unload, you can see that the top number is gaining in value. It's basically telling you what you're putting on the truck. The smaller number is telling you the total weight still remaining on the grain cart, and it always will. We're going to put about 52,000 pounds on here. All right. So we have 52,300 pounds. It's still unloading. So what it does, it takes about a couple seconds after you stopped unloading to stabilize out and trigger the end point. And as you can see here, we have 6,980 pounds left and we unloaded 5, 52,320 pounds onto the blue truck. Basically, this transaction is complete. Um, the only thing we'd have to do after this is empty the truck out into bin number two. We do this for a couple reasons. One is so that way if the truck comes back and they say we're no longer doing bin one, we're now doing bin two or bin two now doing bin one, we can select that in here. So that if I really wanted to unload to bin one, no information has been saved yet. Um, it also allows you to do multiple unloads into the same truck and then empty that as a complete load to the bin. Uh, it helps you keep your information uh, separate and then manageable. So we're going to dump this, dump this into bin one. So I hit empty. Now we're in bin one. As you notice now, bin one says it has corn in it. So if I was to put beans in there, it would actually give me an error message and say, there is corn in this destination. Are you sure you want to mix? That is how you do an unload. You just drive the grain cart like you normally would and let the iFarm do its thing.